Hi, I'm Frankie, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can import an API that's using the Open API standard in Azure API Management. This series is based on the Azure API Management hands-on lab. If you want to follow along or do it on your own, you can find a link to it in the description. We'll start in the overview page of the Azure portal. We'll navigate to the APIs dropdown, the API setting, and we will add a new API. In our last video, we created an API manually by plugging in all the information we needed to create our API in our Azure API Management instance. In this video, we'll be adding an API using an open API specification. The open API specification allows APIs to be added with multiple operations all at once. It's a standard that's been around for years now, and if you want to learn more about it, I'll add a link to it in the description. The API we'll be adding is this simple calculator API. It has operations to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Something to point out with this API is that this not secure warning indicates to us that this API is using HTTP. Whereas most APIs these days use HTTPS. HTTPS allows for another layer of security so that data that's sent to and from an API that's using HTTPS is encrypted. When we use this API, API consumers will make requests to our API management gateway via HTTPS. Then we'll forward requests from the gateway to this API into HTTP so that we can use it. Responses will go back to the API consumers through the gateway using HTTPS. This is an example of one of the powerful things that Azure API Management can do for us. By having our API Management Gateway as an intermediary between API consumers and backend services, we could have a backend service that's working great using HTTP and then later upgrade it to HTTPS without API consumers ever knowing. To import this calculator API, we need to upload the Open API specification doc. This is the Open AI specification doc URL. I'll add a link to it in the description. This doc gives us an example of what some of these operations will do. I can see I have a path add with two URL parameters. It adds two integers. And I can also see that there's two default values associated with this operation. Back in the portal, let's import our calculator API now. I'll open this to add from open API definition. I'll see the full details. Note that my display name, my description, my name are not filled in currently, but when I add my specification doc, they all get brought in. The URL scheme we'll need to select as both. We want the developer portal to send requests using HTTPS, but we want our backend service to use HTTP. Our suffix, we'll call it calc. We won't add any tags and we'll add this to our gold tier product. And we'll create this. Once we've added this API, we need to make sure in the Azure portal that these requests are being forwarded using HTTP. Right now I can see that it's using HTTPS still. So let's go to this pencil icon. Let's make this change and we will override the service URL to make sure it sends using HTTP. This is important because this old API that hasn't been upgraded to HTTPS won't work if you don't make this change. In a new browser window, I've logged in as a user to our developer portal. Let's try our basic calculator. I'll go to add two integers. My gold subscription is added and there's two default parameters, 51 and 49. When I go to send a request, they should add them. And I see here that I have value of 100 as my response. So this worked. At the time of recording, there's a bug with the dropdowns in the developer portal. So we'll need to get rid of the defaults if we want to use other values. To do this, we'll go over to the Azure portal. We'll come to add to integers, hit the pencil icon. I'll pop myself to the left side of the screen and we can see here the default value is 51 and 49. And we will get rid of these default values so that there's no default value. And we'll save this.
trying this again in the portal, I'll refresh the page and see that there's no values. So I'll add something like 30 and 25, which should make 55. And I can see here, 55 have our new value. But this is still a problem for the other operations for our calculator API. So this time, let's go change the specification doc so that all of these values can change at once. Back in the Azure portal, I'll go to my basic calculator and under all operations, I'll make a change to the open API specification doc. We'll come down to subtract numbers and we'll get rid of these defaults and this default value. And we'll do this for the other operations. Now, when we go to these other options, we should see no default values for them as well. Back in the developer portal, I can see that the values are gone and I can multiply two times four and get eight. So that worked. This should give you everything you need to get started importing APIs using an open API specification in Azure API management. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And if you missed any of the past Azure API management videos I've put together, you can find some of those here. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.